Hello and welcome to the Zuko makeup tutorial and male makeup. <laughs> so this is what it will look like at the very end of this tutorial. All right. Okay. So hi. So um, make sure your face is clean and make sure you have everything. As I look around, make sure I have everything. Okay. So we're gonna start with foundation. Um, I do my tutorial a little bit, or I do my makeup different than most people. Um. So this is going to be a little odd for people who do makeup all the time, but um, my foundation is from Clinique and it's number one and it's the acne solution. Um, yeah, so I just put it on my hand and then I use my fingers and get it everywhere. Like I just smack it on my face and put it just, yeah, just everywhere because that's where it needs to go on your face. Yep. So just make sure it's in. You can use both hands, it's fine. Uh, yeah, make sure you get every corner. Um, also, do your lips, because um, if you're cosplaying a guy, well, guys don't have very rosy cheeks. I mean, especially in animes. Like, whenever I cosplay an anime character, I always put foundation on my lips, just because anime characters, you don't see their lips. So yeah, make sure you just get it all over, even on your neck and stuff, because you have short hair, and you just want to be covered um so yeah make sure you just get everywhere um now because i completely forgot um put your wig cap on i usually always do my wig cap first so i just put my head through the hole and then i lift it up and this one is actually quite tight it's uh brand new i never used it um so it's a little tight and um I always bobby pin my sideburns in because first off I have short hair and they like to escape. And second, most of the time my hair is a different color than the character that I'm cosplaying. So I tuck them in just to make sure. And it also keeps the um, wig cap in place. And then I also use a nude wig cap, wig, uh, wig cap to just secure everything. And uh, so after you have your foundation and your wig cap, uh, you're just going to use bronzer and just get that everywhere. And uh, you don't really have to get the side that the scar is going to be on because, well, the scar is going to be there. So um, now for <laughs> starting the scar, you just use a brush that you would normally use for eyeshadow. And you, I use uh, three different kinds of lipstick. Yes, I use lipstick. And it's amazing. So... I first do the part that goes around the eye, because he, the, uh, if you look at the picture closely, um, the, the eye, around the eye, is a little more brown than everything else, so I use like a burgundy lipstick to do that, and then um, I use an angled brush to sort of outline where that color is going to be, and just make sure it's everywhere around my eye, pretty much doing a ring and then like a wing. So a ring around your eye and then a wing going out. Uh, yeah. Lol. I look retarded, but that's okay. Because we're going to be beautiful. <laughs> and then um, use brown eyeliner. Well, this one doesn't work even. <laughs> I sharpened it and it still didn't work. So um, bear with me as I find the correct one. Um, but if you also look at his um, picture, his... Burnt eye is a little thinner because he can't open his eye all the way, and using the brown eyeliner and making a very long wing out to, um, I don't know what the bone is called, but going outwards. And, um, yeah, so that causes, makes it look like your eye is a little slimmer. Oh, and <laughs> I just dropped the fucking brush. Um, excuse my language, but okay. So next we're going to use a different color, and we're going to just do the large part and we're going to outline it first because that way we don't go over the amount that we want and we stay in our boundaries and make sure it looks pretty. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you can use the war paint thing where you just smear it on your face because that gets it on better and darker. Yep. I'm just kind of put that everywhere. And um, also doing that with the lipstick also, um, covers my dimples, not dimples, <laughs> um, pores. And yeah, make sure you get your ear because sometimes my ear tends to stick out of my wig. And I've had a few pictures where my ear is very normal colored and it just doesn't look right. So yeah, just get it all over your face. 
And uh, don't worry about your eyebrow because that will come in handy later. And then uh, we're going to go to our third color and just do streaks. And um, the sliding is kind of bad to see it, but um, it does that. I don't know if you just saw it, but uh, it kind of like gives like a wavy, wrinkly look to it because we are doing 2D. And then just outline it a little and don't make it like perfect because a scar can't be perfect because it's a scar. And next we're going to use setting powder and we're just going to set it. And this powder um, makes it less glossy and smeary and it just stays better. And then we're going to use your brown again and we're just going to, um, we're going to make your eyebrow longer and that will make you a long thing. You'll see. But um, yeah, you just do little lines to give it that like wrinkly feel and then you just put some more powder on it to make sure that stays and that also will make the brown less brown in your face. And there's the scar part. Oh, excuse me, I burped. <laughs> so uh, next you're going to take, um, I'll show you the brush in a minute. But uh, okay, so this is uh, the Clinique Pink Chocolate Palette and I used that color right there. And uh, we're going to contour with um, that brush. I don't know. I think that's the contour brush. Anyway, I don't have uh, contour makeup, so I just use eyeshadow. That's a neutral color. And I just outline my jaw to make it more masculine. And Because if you look at guys, some guys, their jaws are very attractive. And they're very square. And this gives it the look of it. And it, it more shows when... You're looking straight at the camera from the side. It kind of looks like a weird ring, but that's okay. And then don't forget to do your nose and your eyebrow. And if you're not doing Zuko, you just do that on both sides of your face. Here I can't really do it because the scar is on that side, but it's okay. And then uh, do your mustache and like a little goatee-ish area. And then use the blush. The Yeah, the blush to smear it out and make it pretty. Yeah to blend it, I guess, would be the correct term. And then I use the white or the pink and um, highlight it. So uh, this next part, from here on out, um, I lost the footage, but I will show you what I did because it's important to see what I did. So this is what it looks like in the end, and I'm very upset that my camera just stopped recording. But I take the black and I make my eyebrow more square and straight because men's eyebrows don't, like, curve. And then for the eyeliner, I start from the edge and go halfway because if you look at a guy, they actually have very thick eyelashes and they look kind of curly sometimes. And then I use this other brush and I just blend the black because you don't want to smear too much black eyeliner on. Otherwise, you don't, you just have too much. And then you just put powder on it to make sure it stays and looks pretty. And then you put your wig on. Wigs are important. <laughs> well, that's pretty much it. And, and now I'm probably going to be retarded because I like being retarded. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm attractive. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. Love you guys. <laughs> I'm hot. Mm. Look at these muscles. I'm strong, Zuko. Mm. Zuko strong. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm singing the Here's a Zuko, There's a Zuko song. I'm very retarded. <laughs> Why am I this retarded? Dance a dance. Dance, I'm a dinosaur. Meh, 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 meh. Meh. Mm, boobs. Okay, now I'm dancing with my boobs because I'm a sexy Zuko with boobs. Oh, yeah. Look how hot I am. Mm. Work it, girl. Mm. <laughs> I am so retarded. I am attractive. Is it weird that sometimes I look really hot? As a guy and then I just turn in a weird way and I just look like a very sexy girl with a burn. So now we're gonna take selfies. Smile! Oh shit, pointing the wrong way. Smile! Look at the camera! Yes! Ah! Uh, I need to make my voice more masculine because I'm Zuko. Oh, <laughs> I'm still taking selfies. Oh, the smolder! Smolder came, guys! The smolder. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hey, baby. Hey. 
gonna buy you a drink. <laughs> and now, over the shoulder. <laughs> I'm not trying to drink. And once again, over the shoulder. And twirl! <laughs> I'm really retarded. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'll just die or something. Oh, no, no, we can't do that. No. So you go straight, I think. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> We're gonna do this, guys. Zuko's gonna be feminine. She's gonna smack that lipstick on. Mm. I actually have no idea how to wear lipstick because I have never worn lipstick before. I mean, I have, like, all over half of my face all the time, but not. Like, <laughs> I'm just super retarded. What the hell's wrong with me? I'm sorry if you guys are still watching this, but there actually is another part to this video. I'm just being retarded right now. Because I can be. I love you guys. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. Well, now to the removing of everything as we find hairs and take out bobby pins and look retarded. Now this stuff, this um, makeup remover is absolutely amazing. I don't know if you saw it, but it's like a blue packet. And we're just going to take all of this off in one fucking wipe. One wipe. This is absolutely amazing. I, I just love this thing to death. <laughs> yeah, it works amazingly. Like literally, this has just been like a few seconds and like my face is pretty much clean. Uh, it was amazing. That was it. And our next, uh, we're going to... Oh, I actually didn't edit this part of the video. <laughs> it's just, um, I was cleaning up my counter a little bit as I let hot water go through the sink. Because we're gonna put a hot water rag on our face because it feels amazing to just have a hot rag on your face. It's amazing. Bye, guys.